hi guys good day today we will see how to take the backup and restore the backup of traffic node also we will see what is the cor correct bftp like bulletproof ftp settings of uh, the traffic node first of all we will log into this traffic node with the default basic any ip 10.0.0.1 with the username control user and password whatever is the password our traffic nodes are security implemented so SNMP privacy will be DES and SNMP authentication it will be MD5 so here we are this traffic node was previously working on a site and uh, we are just using it as a test bench so first of all we need to see if there is some data if there is uh, just as like backup set checking that uh, if this traffic node is working or there is any links active uh, we can see from radio links that there were four links before previously configured on this traffic node and and all are down but two are still two MMUs are still present and two MMUs are not present uh, and disabled so there are two types of uh, FTP servers which we can work uh, one is built-in FTP server uh, we can use this one as well uh, we just need to set up the TNFTP home directory and set up the username and password and the uh, second method is to use a separate FTP server which is bulletproof FTP server in this case uh, we will be using this uh, BFTP server all our uh, future videos also because BFTP server we are using because we have good control on all the all the things we can easily change anything and also plus we see that debugging is easy if we have any problem if we have any issue we can easily debug uh, by the errors or by the uh, issues so um, here is the basic setting just we will click insert like we will click in this uh, designated space and uh, press the button insert and automatically this dialog box will open we will fill it out as anonymous like like simply like this and once we click uh, ok it will come on your right side like this place and uh, again we will click uh, insert and another like we will browse the directory and ultimately open this direct directory where we where our tnftp folder is located where all the software will be going where all the backup will be going and from where we will pick all the backup my for my laptop this is g software so here we are uh, we will click this button this will uh, make server online so we go back to our uh, TN we will go to configure and restore slash backup configuration we will be looking at this uh, win uh, like windows we will uh, select uh, local host this will be IP of my laptop and we will select operation as backup and just click save uh, the file name is uh, normally automatically start it contains uh, the IP the node name the time and the date of the time of backup so uh, here I'm saying that uh, this tra traffic node is now connected with my laptop and it is trying to download some information it is asking for access and it is now trying to download something this something is actually the configuration file So here we can see, we can see. I can, I will try to highlight the name. Now we see backup is finished. Now to restore this backup, uh, we will just simply change operation mode from backup to restore and click browse, and it will ask us, okay, give me the, uh, give me the file which you need to upload in this uh, traffic node. From here we will see that uh, the the file which is just now uploaded in my laptop its name we can see from here I will try to copy this name from here and just put in the next window just uh, let, let this laptop is not working very fine okay I will copy this name from here so that it is able to find this uh, file from my FTP server like from my directory from my laptop all these uh, backup files are already with me I click uh, paste and see it is now shortlisted, shortlisted my laptop 
I have all these backups with the similar IP addresses, but not the exact IP address because uh, because TN like ten dot seventy all the IPs uh, which have like for the sites which backup is in my laptop all will be appearing here. But I will only use this one. I will click select and uh, then I will click apply to see that if this is a correct configuration file. Suppose if uh, there was mistake in my application, it will be showing me a different site ID here and then I will be like uh, saying this that there is some problem I am not using the correct configuration file for any specific site also uh, it will show me that at what time this this backup was taken and also what was the condition of traffic node at that time so here I see that uh, the time the, the time the date the traffic node name the, the like visibility IP and subnet mask plus uh, number of cards available here I see that two cards are missing the configuration is present in the traffic node but actually no cards are present in the traffic node as physical as hardware is not available but configuration is available so if I click save uh, this will take a reboot and all the data will be gonna, like uh, written in the flash memory in the traffic node so uh, because since uh, I have other plans for this uh, video to format so I will do this once again so the good procedure is this that once we take any backup we we should mention with this backup some hints some some things that which are later uh, beneficial for us uh, like when we took this backup or like before action or after action uh, we can use this like uh, before cleaning of slots or before reservation clearance we can make some notes in the configuration file so these will be later uh, usable to us now this uh, traffic node is again downloading file in my laptop which is the new configuration file backup new backup configuration file with the before name See backup before action as I saved this configuration file before so that is the procedure to take backup and restore uh, hope uh, it, this video is beneficial for you guys thanks for watching